What is up, gamers of the internet? My name's Sayushi, and we're back, gamers. More trove. Oh, finally doing an unboxing video. It's been long overdue for us to do an unboxing video, period. But we're finally going to be unboxing 100 locked adventuring strong box. Now, I got the majority of these, let's say. I think I got like 80 or 90 of them myself, and then somebody else ended up actually trading me a couple of them. I did take a screenshot, however, of the person, but unfortunately I can't track it down, so I can't give proper shoutouts. I'm sorry, usually I mark these things very well, where I would mark the image shoutout, and then I would just know to search through Windows after, because otherwise I literally have like hundreds uh, of screenshots since then. So. If that person happens to be watching, thank you for the extra lock boxes. I did still get the majority of these myself. I didn't want to trade for them, even though that could have been a probability, uh, just because I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to go for it. On top of that, you still need to grind all the adventurine strongbox keys themselves, uh, which are required in order to end up opening these boxes. Now, these boxes look a little bit different because I do have a mod uh, that is affecting their looks. And on top of that, uh, I wanted to give a couple quick tips that I ended up getting uh, if you guys didn't already check out my other live stream uh, where I ended up finally getting over 100 of these bad boys. Basically, the way that these work uh, and lockboxes in general is, whoopsie daisy, it doesn't work in a normal world. Um, anywhere from frost and up to u6 including the elemental worlds there's going to be quest npcs and you can end up completing their quest and they're going to have a random chance of just upon completion of their quest you could see one of these pop into your inventory now without the mod they of course just look like normal adventure boxes nothing too special uh, and then this guy over here you're going to have to trade the adventure in that you end up grinding uh, in order to end up getting a strong box key because the key is actually required in order to end up getting the uh opening the box itself right now another thing to point out is that if you can end up going to a frostlands like we did now and if i could get lucky i don't necessarily want to try it out today uh if i could find another outpost over here in the highlands uh it's, you guys kind of know how they look by now or at least you should the highlands outpost actually lets you trade common resources in order to end up getting just normal uh, adventure boxes but on top of it it'll also have a chance of giving you strong boxes like you can actually uh just keep trading in like glim for example in order to end up getting a bunch of these locked adventuring strong boxes and i just thought that was so cool because i didn't even know that uh until i ended up doing my live stream and then somebody ended up letting me know about that and Again, I can't really shout them out just because it's already in the video uh, of that. But anyways, I digress. So what we can po uh, possibly end up getting uh, these bad boys is good and bad. Uh, there's going to end up being a bunch of common allies. Uh, we can also end up getting some mounts. There's one unique mount for these boxes themselves, which is a weird griffin mount. It's tradable. Usually you can buy them on the market for super duper cheap, honestly. But the super duper high rare items that you can end up getting is there's one costume for every class in the game. And these are untradable costumes or rarer than that is a tradable version of the costumes. Now, the costumes have since gone down in price exponentially since I ended up getting most of them uh, but you'll be able to tell them very easily apart from the other more common older tradable costumes because you'll see that these ones kind of stand out from the crowd by actually just showing you the costume right here and my god these have gotten cheap like geez louise when i was buying them they were like two mil a pop for most of these i already have a video that shows off all of the costumes so i'll put a card in the top right for you guys to check that out uh but i have slowly over time uh been doing live streams here and there where where i'll try to end up using a different costume and highlighting a different class just so that you guys can end up seeing everything draco still seems to be like an extremely expensive costume also, Ice Sage. I, I mean, I guess that's not extremely expensive. Revenants even at 600k? My god. I mean, I guess everybody does have access to these, so it makes sense, but... Man, alive. Okay, Gunslinger is a lot higher up there. I think that's the first Shadowhunter one that I've seen. Same with Dino Tamer. I could be wrong about that. But these ones generally seem to be a lot less common, or maybe it's just that they're more desired, which I would assume uh, just because they're... They're more popular classes. It doesn't make that much of a difference, though. It's like 200k flux or something like that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. 
wish me luck smash like on this video because we all know that by more likes on the video means that i get more luck right i mean you saw my unbox gonda or that's totally because of that so can we just no we can't open them outside of just using the key uh we also have the shadow uh, ui mod on so there we go so that's just a grumpy little ally the problem too is that most of these this is not in your collection really huh because these are tradable i swore i had them but i guess i don't huh that was 50 mastery too jesus are you kidding me like what how did i not have it it's going to give max health basic attacks chill enemies slowing their movement speed well that's kind of interesting what's he look like oh it's just a little pinata well that's kind of cute either way i don't i can't believe that i didn't have that i thought i actually got all of the allies but anyways um i mean the thing is that i can trade these sure but they're gonna be garbage because they're allies and unfortunately i don't think that you can end up loot collecting the untradable costumes so if i end up getting an untradable costume i'm just screwed there's not really anything i can do about it but you can see right here that is over 10 boxes already just down the toilet and we didn't get anything noteworthy out of it. Another thing too to point out is as you can see, this is the Frolicsome Fox Spirit. So normally you end up getting uh, these from a very specific adventure box, which is from the Forbidden Spires. So they'll have uh, in these boxes, you can apparently get every type of adventure box item. This is just the first time that I've actually seen it because when I was on the test server unboxing a bunch of these, uh, I did not get that lucky. These are all tradable though, which is nice. So at least that's something. Hopefully I can get some of my flux back just from the costumes themselves, I mean. But I'm really hoping that we can get... If we get even one tradable costume, I'll be satisfied because, oh my god, these items suck, dude. Like, I can't believe how much trash we're actually getting here. Honestly, if these items aren't worth anything, uh, I could just keep them for giveaways in future videos because... <laughs> this is actually pathetic though i i always knew that these boxes were bad but if you're just grinding to 100 i want to i want to be clear about this too it didn't take me this long to get 100 boxes it's just that i wasn't really going out of my way to get them i was at first uh but then after a while i mean it's time gated you can only do one of those quests per day so it's like eh but my god dude like look how bad the rng is on these that's pretty much what these unboxing videos are isn't it it's always just me showing you guys this is how awful it is and then some of you guys will end up like I i'm sure i'm going to get a bunch of people tweeting at me like hey, i got a costume on my first box or something because it always happens which is awesome seriously it's good that you guys get the rare stuff because i mean i don't need it i already have it maybe that's why maybe that's why i don't have any rng Ooh, pink budgie buddy that's actually i like that mount is this tradable <gasps> cannot be traded nice okay so i mean hopefully i can loot collect that or something because i already have it in my collection like what <sighs> Okay, well, that's what the costume looks like when it's... And there's the uh, mount, which is actually a disgusting mount, seriously. I didn't like it when it was on the test server. I don't like it now that it's on the live server. We got one costume, and it's untradeable. I want a tradable costume. That was also out of more than 50 boxes. Like, this is the thing that is actually, like, disgusting, by the way. Oh, eh, that's not a bad one. Yeah, and it's still tradable too. I'm pretty sure all of the adventure box out, uh, mounts and stuff like that are still tradable if you get them out of normal adventure boxes. But Jiminy Crockett, dude, this is just awful. The fact that it gives us all of the mounts or all of the allies over and over and over again. Like we got almost 20 of each. Is this a tradable costume based on its picture? I'm assuming no. No, it's not. Dang it. This is the knight costume and then the pirate captain costume. I mean, I guess cool not really though i wasn't really expecting much out of these honestly speaking and the thing is okay unlike me actually unboxing gonda this didn't really cost me anything because like i said i didn't end up grind uh, i didn't end up buying the uh boxes or anything i just grinded them okay so we got the tomb razor costume makes me kind of regret that i bought all the costumes as early as i did but that's okay that shrimp mount is disgusting too many allies we're getting lots of costumes man all untradable too 
I wish that there was something that I could do to turn it into a tradable item. Like, that would be cool if Trove had a feature like that, right? <gasps> My brother, giant iguana. I'm satisfied. Just alone in getting that. All these allies are tradable too. What the? <clears throat> I'm, I'm actually surprised that we're getting... I'm actually very surprised that we're getting as many costumes as we are, but my god, like, can I get one that's actually tradable so that I can make something? Actually, I'd rather just sell, or not sell the costume. I want, I want, yes! No, that is a tradable costume, so I can give this to you guys. Uh, it's just a Lunar Lancer one. It's not that big a deal, but at least I have this as a giveaway item, so that's cool. Not in today's video. Today's video is just focusing on unboxing, okay? If I got a lot more things, I mean, I guess I got all these adventure mounts, but it's like, who wants those? <laughs> I'd rather just, oh, last box. Here we go. Come on. Give me Gonda. Not really. And it's just another one of the mounts. <laughs> what does that thing even sell for, man? Like, let's see. Afterburn, right? my god it's 9k like oh my goodness i'm pretty sure this cami of scorched um yeah he's 20k jesus this thing is more expensive than a box that is completely time get i mean i guess it makes sense because the adventure boxes themselves are really tricky to get okay uh shadow high draken which is going to end up finding a bunch of other things wow 566k I really am just gonna end up giving this away. At least we got one. Uh, I'm kind of satisfied in that. And if I didn't already have all the costumes, that's actually not too bad. Like getting all of the costumes obviously would end up being a really, really big deal, uh, getting them all legit. But the thing is that if you take into the fact that we got a Lunar Lancer as a tradable and we also got an untradable Lunar Lancer, it means that technically I could use this one, sell this costume, and trade it for another one, more than likely of my main class or something. If I, if I had the time to end up doing something like this again, like grinding all the way up to 100 of these boxes, I should slowly try to do that on my alt account. Because then it would actually be hype. Because then I would actually be getting all these costumes for classes that I don't have on my alt character. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's going to do it for me today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know it's been a long, long time since we did an unboxing video. And I mean, let me tell you, I got a lot of stuff that we can end up unboxing in future videos. But as of right now, I really wanted to get this one just out of the way. And we got some pretty good items out of it. Like, we got a lot out of it. I'll say that. At least that aspect of these boxes is exciting, even if for somebody like myself, I'm kind of numb to it just because I've already got like virtually everything in the game, except apparently this little ally that I didn't have and this guy that I didn't have. What? <laughs> I mean, how can you blame me? Those that ally is like actually disgusting. Thanks for watching though. Smash like sub for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. I was going to show you my shirt, but this is actually a Gonda shirt. This is official Trove merch. I don't know if Trove merch even exists anymore since Game of Go took over, does it? They didn't ship to Canada. Tryon was actually very uh, capable with shipping me a bunch of this Trove merch back in the day, and I thought that was so cool of them. But I never really showed it off in a video or anything. Either way, this Gonda shirt's like so dank, I love it. And then there's like a dragon shirt too, but I don't think I can ever get those again because I wonder if Game of Go picked up their shop. Anyways, who cares? Sign on stay, have a gamers.